Welcome to Brett Ridgway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this lesson we're going to learn a tune called Cluck Old Hen. For the last few lessons I've been encouraging people to get a capo which I hope you have one or you've ordered one through my site and if you don't those are available on my website uh, under the Brett's Recommended Products page and it would be good to get one of these. This is uh, going to help you change some keys. So I told you that we would be doing a tune and we are capoed at the first fret in a past video I showed you how to put the capo on correctly and uh, we're gonna learn a tune called Cluck Old Hen we are in the key of E minor so we're gonna go through this you notice when I played that I played it different each time I got a little bit fancier and then I came back to the beginning the last time I played it uh, straight so we're gonna take this down phrase by phrase this is not a long tune at all but it is so much fun when you start getting free with what you're doing. So, here's your first phrase. You're gonna put your ring finger on the melody string at five, and pretty much you're gonna be playing bum, diddy, bum, diddy. So you're gonna go five, up to eight, diddy, seven, eight, diddy. Notice, and you can't, I don't know if you can see this, this finger is really floating, it's not touching anything. I could put it out of the way if you want but this finger does not move. So five, eight ditty, just slide it back to seven, seven, then up to eight ditty. Technically that's your first phrase. We're gonna combine those with this next phrase. You're gonna play Five, eight, four. So it's five, eight ditty, seven, eight, five, eight is a ditty, four. Ditty. One more time. One more time. Five, eight, seven, eight, five, eight, four, diddy. You may want to shut off your player and memorize that. Put it on pause. Here's your next phrase. Five, up to eight, diddy, seven, eight, very similar. Then Five, four, three, open. Again, five, eight, seven, eight, five, four, three, open. Again, remember that the frets stay the same. This is still two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, and seven. When you add the capo, that does not change the frets. Okay. So there is no one, there's just open. Five, eight, seven, eight. Watch the pick direction here. Out, out, back, out, 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 back, out, out. So let's play this from the very beginning. We'll put those two together. So you'd actually play that twice. So let's do part B. You're gonna strum it open. So bum diddy, ring finger on the melody string at three. So open diddy, three diddy, open diddy. Then you're gonna move that ring finger to the middle string at three. 
So everything is bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy. Open three open. So you're on the middle string there at three. And I think we can continue. That's actually the, the first two phrases. And then we're going to play open diddy three four five four three open diddy. So here's part B all over again, starting on the melody string, ring finger on three or open. Bum diddy three diddy open diddy three in the middle diddy open. Again, watch the pick direction. Five, four, three, open, diddy, repeat. Diddy, three, diddy, open, diddy, three in the middle. Diddy, open, diddy, three, four, five, four, three, open, diddy. So that is all of Cluckled Hem. Let's play it from the very beginning. We'll play it through twice. Once you have that memorized, and it should be memorized, and if it's not, make sure you put this uh, lesson on pause and memorize the entire thing. But let's play the whole thing now on the bass string. So you're doing the same exact thing. You could actually switch back and forth. So you can see how you can get a lot out of this. Um, on the second half, and there's still a whole lot I'm going to show you on this, but on the second half, we had you go... What you can do is you can bend this middle string. Now, I don't have this on my lap, so it's, it's hard for this not to move, but let's, let's try something here. And what I'm going to do is brace my thumb here so I can pull this. And that's hard to slow it down, but it's... So you're just bending this. And you got to make sure you bend it far enough to reach that note. So that's one variation. Here's another variation. Bum diddy three diddy. So you're doing bum diddy three diddy. And watch pick direction. Open three. Open middle string at three. Open uh, at three. I'm sorry. Back though. I'm using this finger so you can see this. But you're using your ring. So 
So one time when you're playing it, you could be going like this. Uh, So I got ahead of myself. Here's what I want you to try. Uh, in a lot of my workshops, if you've ever taken any of my workshops, I talk a lot about noodling. Noodling is simply playing around. It's hitting random notes, random strings. So at the beginning, I'm just gonna give you some ideas. Here's, here's your basic melody. What if you just hung on to this? If you went like this. You say, what are you doing? It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what I'm doing, it doesn't matter what you're doing. All you're doing is you're kind of I, I didn't do anything other than hang on to this eight there. So what you're doing is you're just playing around with it. Now, you wouldn't want to start that way. You want to get the basic melody in the head in somebody's head. So you can you can try different things for the second half. Let me just give you an idea. this video several times what you're gonna find out I can't even tell you what I just did I just went random notes and I kept in the in the we're in the same chord so that's fine in the same key but within that rhythm and you, you've got to stay within your phrase um, or You see how this all works. So you can't do this with every song, but this is sure a whole lot of fun just to mess around. And, and really it opens up your playing and lets you be a little bit more free in your playing. So it's a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, you can do so much with this. And uh, it's just a great little song. So hope you enjoyed this. I will see you on the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Please share.